Hello guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create or spawn random weapons. So open up your hammer and load the map you want to have randomized weapons and items on. I'm going to use, use a tutorial because it's simple. So as you can see I've just added a few weapons to the table. I've got an auto shotgun, a rifle and a hunting rifle. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a pipe bomb and a monotog. So if I go to this, write in weapon underscore monotog spawn, and just sort it out on the map, through the floor, and create. A pipe bomb next to it. So there we go. So now I've got weapons here, I want to place more weapons somewhere else on the map. So you can do this halfway through the map, the end maybe, but you need to have at least two. You can't just hope that they spawn somewhere else. So I'm going to drag it over and put it by there. So if you go on here now, we have the table laid out exactly the same as the other place. So as you can see, right, so there's two different things. The weapons you need to use templates and yeah, logics, but with the um the pipe bomb and molotov and pain pills and yeah, you can you have to use a map parameters which you click the entire tool. Um probably relatively straightforward to put it centerized with uh, with the info director of course which I need to place you should have one of these on which I'm about to place now which I'm going to place here so obviously you need to name the director which I'm going to name just director to keep it simple and we need to insert our info underscore map underscore parameters and I'll insert it next to the director. Now if we open this up, you see it has a lot of values. Now mine have defaulted to 6.48, which I need to change because I've got two on the map and I don't want six spawning. So I want I'm gonna put one for each one for now. But you can do whatever you want. And I'm gonna put two for the last one. Like so if you had eight pain pills on your map and you wanted five spawn write five there. If you had two in the map and you wanted both of them spawning, write two there. You get the picture. And that is pretty much what you need to do for the pain pills, but obviously it's got the pistol, density, um the oxygen tank, the propane tank, etc etc. So just play around with it and hopefully it'll work. Right, so now we got the weapons part, which is a bit more complicated but yeah, if you Learn it, it'll be relatively easy. So just remember, first things first, you need to name the weapons, which I'm gonna start now. So I'm gonna call this shotgun Shotty One. I'm gonna name this hunting this um, rifle Rifle One. I'm just gonna make sure I didn't name that under parent. Yes, I did. That was lucky. <sighs> right here, sorry about that, and I'm going to name the hunting rifle, hunting one, click apply. Now I need to make a template for this, so I'm going to click the entire tool again, place that by the map, by the guns, and write in point underscore template, and you'll see that this all comes up, with a name, template, one, two, three, four, etc. Now you need to name this, so I'm going to name it Weapons 1. Now, my game is on my nerves today, so it's just randomized my templates for some reason. But anyway, for template 1, you write in the weapons. So I want that shotgun. Template 2, I want that rifle. And for template 3, I want that hunting rifle. Click apply and then they are now bind together as a spawn. And now we need to do the same with these down here. 
I need to first of all name every weapon. I'm going to call this Shotty 2. I'm going to call this Rifle 2. I'm going to call this one Hunting 2. And same thing as last time. Click the entire tutorial, make a point, and it's got a template. Name it, I'm going to name it Weapons 2 this time, and just template them all. I want a hunting rifle, I want the shotgun and the rifle, sorry, and the hunting rifle. So there we go, they are now binded together. So now that we've done that, we need to add a logic and scope point. Now I'm going to go over to the director again, use the inside tool, and write in logic and this girl case. Click apply. Now you don't need to name this, but I'm going to name it anyway, so I'm just going to name it case, but you don't actually have to name it. And the, this is just pretty much what case we've done. So we want weapons one, one, two. But you go to outputs, add my output name, and case one, director. Sorry, weapons one, force spawn, and. And you don't need to click five once only, and I need to add the other case as well. So once again, on case two, weapons two, for spawn, and click apply. And one more thing is that to randomize weapons. So click add again. On gameplay start. Sorry, I've, yeah, sorry. You got to go to your director. And go to your outputs tab and write add on gameplay start which I've named case which I did say you didn't have to do but you obviously do I forgot sorry and via this input pick random and click apply now this is just so that the cases don't pick a random one which is just stupid like case 11, 12, 13, 14 because we haven't got nothing assigned to these it means that it will randomly choose between case 1 and 2 which we have in the outputs here so that is pretty much all you need to know about these cases and the weapons one now when we 